Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Picking here. I got another brand new palette. It's scratched and dent, which is not a normal condition that I usually get. So let's see what kind of condition this is in. You guys are true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. All right, so this palette is a scratched and dent palette. Usually you see me open uninspected returns, but I wanted to kind of give you the specs on this one. So this is a bulk.com palette. It's scratched and dent. Um, the reason I chose it is iRobots. Um, it says I think there are four in there, and I'm hoping that even if one is broke, I can kind of siphon parts from another to build one that works and I can sell it as used. So um, it's got home goods, toys and games, pet supplies. Uh, it retailed at $4,482. I paid $220 for it. Shipping was $200. Tax was $1,260 for a total of $43. Uh, $432.60. Um, there's 34 items inside the palette per item, $12.73. So let's see what if we can actually get $12.73 out of a lot of these. Obviously, there's going to be some that are going to be less, but um, we'll see if we can average the $12.73. Um, these items will be available um, for sale either on my eBay, Poshmark, um, I'll, I might send some into Amazon, but the likelihood that I'll have Amazonable items in a scratched and dent palette is pretty low. So if you see anything you're interested in, please go ahead and email me at hookedonpicking.com. Just click the contact me section and um, I can, uh, you know, send you an invoice for anything you're interested in. So let's see if we can actually get into this palette. So every palette comes with kind of a front door look to it. So this is the front door. Um, it was delivered right to my house on a big straight bed truck. So uh, we'll see what's inside. Gotta untape it from the back. So it's been a long time since I've gotten a scratched and dent palette. So I'm really curious to see what kind of condition the items are in and whether or not I'll be able to sell anything. All right. So it's filled all the way to the brim. There we go. All right, all the way to the brim, as you can see. Um, you know, things are nicely wrapped up and things like that, but we'll see what kind of condition we can um, resell some of the stuff. So there's a drone here, a live feed striker drone. Um, obviously the box has been open, it's really boogered up and stuff, but um, I can look into it, see if it even works, uh, and then maybe I can sell it as used. But that's kind of a neat thing. Drone. All right, what is this? It's a sleeping bag. A giant gray sleeping bag. So I'll definitely open it up and make sure it doesn't have rips and tears and stuff like that. But that might be sellable. If not, um, I can always donate it. All right, indoor, outdoor pet cot. Because your pet needs a couch. Doesn't want to lay on the ground. It's an animal. <laughs> anyway, all right, pet cot. So I'll check and make sure all the pieces are in that. Definitely the box has been opened. What are these? Okay, there's a bunch of boxes this, well, nope, this is the only one this size. Let's open it up and see what's in it. All right, tech toys, big boys, workshop tools. It looks like a toy set. If I can get it out of here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to flip this over and try to just slide it out. So. All right, so it's basically like a tool bench. The box has been opened here. It's been ripped and retaped back, but it looks like almost everything is in there. There's some stuff still wrapped up. So I'll probably go through and investigate if all the pieces are there. Um, and if they are, I'll probably just sell this on eBay, but it's kind of a nice, um, you know, little toy. So those go for pretty good. I remember buying one of those for my son when he was younger. He loved it. All right, what else is in here? Black and Decker, basically a dustbuster. Back in the day, dustbuster. 
So this one looks like it's in good shape. For sure it's been open, which is probably why it's in a scratched and dent box. But we'll check and see what kind of condition it is in. The biggest thing I'm gonna check on that is, does it have dirt and stuff inside it? Has it been actually used? You wanna open that now? Yeah, I can open it now. Yeah, and there's not very many things in this uh, box. So let's see what kind of condition it's in. All right, well, it's got a lot of the original packaging and some of the accessories. Uh, there's scratching and stuff on that. And so I, what you want to bet, it's been mounted to a wall, but it does have the screws and stuff that bolt it to the wall. It is wrapped in plastic. Um, so this piece is broken here, as you can see. Um, and let's look on the inside. There's no dirt on the inside, so I don't think it's been used. So this little piece has been broken, but I don't know that it's 100% You know, this piece is probably needed for some sort of an attachment. So, but it doesn't look like it's been used. Is there an attachment with it? Uh, this is the only attachment I see is this little brush thing that flips up. See? Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I see. So I'm not sure that that's even necessary for for usability. I mean, yeah, it's broken. Clearly it's been broken. But, um, you know, if you just pull this off, will it still work? So, yeah. So that might be actually a good sellable item. Um, obviously, I'm not going to sell it brand new. So... But we'll, I will repackage that much more proficiently after the video is done. But we'll get it all kind of set back in there. All right, let's see what else we got. Um, this is a box of Tupperware with lids. Um, big plastic Tupperware. Three compartment bento box, 15 day value is all it says. So it's plastic containers. Uh, here's another drone. So, and stuff coming out of the bottom of the, the box is open. Here's a piece of it, and here's a piece of it. So it must have gotten opened in shipping. So this will definitely be for a parts or repair, because um, it definitely probably doesn't work. But I can look into it. Could lot all the drones up. Yeah, lot them all up, and they can make their own drone. All right, this one is a neck and shoulder heating pad. Pure Relief. Um, it looks like it's boxed up really well. Let's see if it's been opened. I'm just going to pull this out. Okay. So it's got the plastic still there. Um, looks like everything is still there. So um, it may have just been opened and re-stuck back in the box. So maybe a return by a customer who didn't necessarily want to use it. So that might be sellable on eBay can't sell it on Amazon because it's not brand new. All right, let's see. What's in one? We got two of these boxes. Oh, I think I know what this is. Looks like a Roomba box to me. Let's set it up on the table and see what kind of condition we got and see if there's like dirt on it. Has it been used? Okay, which way am I opening the box? Okay. So clearly been opened. It's dusty and dirty because it's been used for sure, but it's got an extra filter with it, an extra brush. Um, this is the plug-in for the wall, so that's all here and ready to go. Let's look at the bottom of this. Oh, I don't know that this has ever been used. I mean, it definitely looks dirty, but the brushes, like my brushes have hair and dust and all that, but these look brand new. Um, I mean, it'll definitely have to be tested. Will it turn on? Um, probably won't turn on just simply because it's um, not charged. You have to charge it. Um, and so it charges, see the two little sensors here? I have one of these, that's why I know. And they sit on top of this. So, I mean, there's dust and stuff on this, but I don't know if it's just dust from here, from this, this cardboard container. So it actually looks in good condition. So my plan, is to uh, plug it in somewhere over here, charge it, and then see if it'll actually turn on and run. Um, and then if it does, then that'll be golden, you know. Um, 
I guess this is what you use to clean the brushes. I wish I had one of these for mine because that's really nice. All right, so it may be that I can just sell it um, kind of used like new uh, because it's clearly not been used. I mean, the brushes would definitely have um, things on it if it's if it was used. So that's a really good find if it charges and works. If it doesn't charge and work, then I might be able to use like another charger and things like that and, you know, kind of take two Roombas and put them together because here's another one. So let's see what kind of condition this one's in. Let me get the box the right way. Okay, this one's been taped. That other one wasn't even taped closed. This one says Roomba 805. That one doesn't have a number. We'll see if it's the same kind. Because then that'll help me with listing it. Of course, bulk is usually pretty good about manifesting their items. Okay, the box already looks better. This is clearly a different version. Um, this one's a Roomba, Roomba 800. So let's see. It's got the power cord. Okay, it comes, mine came with one of these. This is basically a sensor. If you don't want it to go into a particular room, you stick batteries in it and then put it across the threshold or a doorway um, so it doesn't go in there. It's got the extra brush that does all the edging. This is, uh, looks like a filter. So it uses a different kind of filter than mine. Mine uses that blue kind of filter. Stick that all back in there. Um, it's got the actual room, but let's pull it out and see, has it been used before? Okay. I don't know if it'll turn on or not. Nope. All right. So this has different kind of brushes on it. So only rubber ones. Um, it definitely looks like it's been used because the, the brushes here are dirty and then these look dirty. So this one's definitely been used. Um, it's got a handle on it. Mine doesn't have a handle. And then, yeah, there's dirt inside the compartment. Filter goes right here. So this is the difference between, I mean, the filter doesn't look too dirty, but it definitely looks like it's been used based off the brushes. All right, and then the charging pod is here. So I'll just stick that there and I'll rebox it. So that one, the box is in better condition, but it's clearly been used. But seriously, if it works, somebody will pay a little bit less to buy a used Roomba rather than spending. I think Roombas are going for like $350, $400 right now. So, you know, um, like I said, I only paid $432 for this one. Okay, scoop free disposable crystal litter trays. So it's a pet item. It's clearly been opened. Oh, but the bag and everything is fine. Um, so I don't know if it's supposed to come with a tray or if it just goes in the litter box. Oh, this box is the tray. I get it. So this is probably something that I would imagine um, people use if they're traveling with their pet or they don't want to deal with it and they want to throw the whole thing away. All right, here's another drone. You can hear stuff rattling around in there. Um, let's open this one up and look at it too. See what kind of condition. Scratched and dent, you guys really wanna know what the condition looks like. So uh, I hope I'm not annoying, but I'm gonna probably open most things in this because they've already been open. So I'm not as concerned about opening them and, and ruining them you know, for sellability. So let's see, we've got pieces that are just off, um, but it looks like Got comes some, with some extra. There's that. So this one, it looks like we might be able to just test. The battery is there. We might be able to test it and see if it works. So that one's actually in pretty good condition considering the box is a little bit messed up. Okay, I'm gonna move this down here because I know I've got a couple more Roombas I'm looking for. Not to drop with stuff. I could, yeah. I'm thinking that's probably a good idea to just do a drone lot for parts of repair. Um, of course, if I find one that works, I may go ahead and sell it used in working condition, but I'm not a drone expert, so. Okay, let's see what's in this. This has a handle. 
Probably some sort of vacuum is my guess. A little pad. Yeah, it's like one of those shark. It's like the, um, what's it called? A genius intelligent. It's like one of those hard floor vacuums. Um, it's like an oversized dust buster. It looks like all the parts are there. Um, and so I will definitely test that one out, make sure it works. I might never get it back in this box again, <laughs> but I will play Jenga later. Okay, that way you know what's in that box. All right, the claw. This looks like a fun little game. So it's a little mini claw toy. Ooh, this one looks like it's wrapped really well. So it's a miniature claw machine. Looks like it comes with everything. Comes with little fake coins. Looks like you would just have to find the thing, the toys and such to put inside it but that's all that comes in it. You'd have to basically buy a bag of candy and put it in there. So this actually looks in really good condition. So that might be a sellable on Amazon or eBay. So, all right, let's see what else we got. Okay, bike mount for your car. We'll have to see if all the parts are there. But that's, this would probably be like a Facebook marketplace that I would sell unless somebody wants to pay the money to have me ship it to them. But those are not cheap, so it'd be neat to get that at a discounted price. What is this? It's a little pet bed. It's all cozy. It's brand new. There's not even like hair, like there's not even people hair on it. There's no pet hair, nothing. All right, I'm gonna leave this up on a table since it's brand new, that's awesome. It's super soft. So, all right. Ooh, this is cute. Well, let me pull these shoes out. Got a nice pair of shoes in here. Eldolfo Couture. Couture. I've sold Eldolfo shoes. These are gonna be in nice shape. So that'll probably... Bottom scuff. Nope. Ten and a half. Those are brand new. So I will probably, look, they come with their own bag. Um, I will probably put those on my Poshmark store. So if you want those, let me know. Or go check out my Poshmark store. They'll probably be in my Poshmark store in the next week or so. All right. iFit Home Gym. Goes on your door. It's basically um, like a tension band kind of gym. Ugh. Okay. That one was heavy. Okay, this is cool. It's a flag case for an American flag. And you can hide a weapon in there. I do sell concealed carry purses on my Hooked on Pick and Page. Shameless plug, I know. All right, let's see what condition this is in because I'm wondering if it's all scuffed up or if it's almost brand new and just the box has been opened. So, yeah. If I find a gun in there, I'm gonna freak out. Okay, I'm trying to not drop it. All right, let's see. Gorgeous. Look at that. How's it open? And look, that's how you strap the flag in for the display window, and then you can hide other stuff in there. That's cool. So it looks like this is supposed to be on a hinge, and the hinge just isn't, okay, see where the hinge marks are? So you just need a couple of finishing nails to fix that up, um, unless it comes in the box. I'll have to check and see if it comes in the box, but you can buy a couple of finishing nails to, to get that, wait, never mind. There's actually keys so it must lock somehow. Yes, look, 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 look. So um, if you did want to use it for weapons, you could actually lock it up. So, and I've got the keys. So that's really cool. So it's basically a 
Flag case with concealment. Display your flags, flags while concealing handguns and other valuables. So I'm gonna set this here, put the keys inside the bag so I don't lose it. And I'm gonna take a minute and put it back in the case so I don't ruin it. All right. Okay, so we got some other stuff in here. This one, it's got, I really like that flag case. I think that's in good shape considering it's from a scratched and dent box. This says charcoal color, hard side spinner. I have no idea. So I have a feeling whatever it is, it's going to be grayish in color. Trying not to cut whatever's in here. All right. Oh, sweet luggage. I just sold actually the last piece of luggage I pulled out of a pallet, I already sold. So this is a hard side case luggage uh, with the 360 wheels. So this is gonna be a good sell. Um, cause you, it, cause for one, it comes in the original box. There's nothing wrong. I'll check the zippers, make sure the zippers work good, but this is going to be a good, e easy, quick sell for me. All right. This is, looks like a pet bed of some sort. Yeah, maybe I'm going to open it and make sure. No, I'm pretty sure it's a pet bed. Is it a pet bed? Okay. Yeah. My cameraman checks out the, uh, Manifest. Manifest before we look. Here's another pet bed. Doesn't look like they've been used. I think they just are not in the original boxes. But when I'm looking at these, there's no hair or anything on them. So here's another pet bed. So, and I knew there was going to be a lot of pet items in here. Here's a set of charming lady, probably boots. We sold a lot of charm. Oh, these are kind of cute looking. Look at these. Look at those, very unique. They are size, I don't know. Let me look on the box. Sold good? Yes, brand new. Okay, let's see what size it is. It doesn't say, that's weird. They look like a larger size, like maybe a nine or a 10. Let me see if I can find a tag real fast. And then I'll give up after a while. Size 10, size 10. Gold, metallic, charming lady boots. Okay. All right, so I got a couple pairs of shoes. Those always sell really well for me. Oh, look, it's another one. Yeah, let's check. Uh, the box is uh, more beat up than the other one, so. And this one, start my own vending machine business. So that one's not in plastic, but it still looks pretty good. Let me see, it doesn't come with the fake coinage either. So, all right, I'm gonna set this down here so I don't break it. All right, not too much more in here. This one is breakfast hub. Three in one multifunction breakfast hub. I'm going to set it down here. I'm going to open it. Box has definitely seen better days. So that's kind of what I expected. Like a little glass tray. Another one. Oh, it's basically a toaster oven is what it is with the different trays and a little glass lid. Um, glass is not broken. It's got a handle for the glass lid right there. So it looks like it's in good shape. Probably just been open and the box is in rough shape. So toaster oven, pair of shoes. I think we have these listed. 10 and a half. I think we've got a very similar pair just like this. Yeah. Um, never bottoms never been worn. So I think we have a brown version of those. So I found two iRobots. I haven't found the, okay. I see the other ones. I think this is one. I'm running out of space here. We're gonna go down here. Open it. 
Okay, so this is a shark, not an iRobot. So here's the docking base for it. Um, iRobots are a little bit more expensive than the shark. The shark, I believe they sell at Walmart and Targets. I don't know about Target, but I know they sell it at a Walmart. So this one's clearly been used. It's got some hair and stuff you can see on it. Um, and it's got a little bit of different kind of brushes on both sides, but even used, if it works, um, people will still want to buy them, but it looks like it's got all the parts. Um, let me see. I don't know how you, it does look like you empty it this way. All right. So I'm not as familiar with the sharks as I am the iRobot. Okay. And then it's got the charging cable for the base. So it looks like everything is here. Um, I will definitely check what is in a t typical sharp sh and then I'll have to figure out which model it is, but it's been used, but I might still be able to sell it used. Um, just because these are pretty expensive. So let's go ahead and check this thing. It's a huge box of something. It's very heavy, whatever it is. So I have a feeling it might be like a vacuum or something just because of the size of the box and what's in this pallet. And I might be right. That was a good guess. And I didn't look at the manifest, my hubby did. So here's the hose. Clearly it's been used. Yep, it's a vacuum. I don't know what kind of vacuum, but it's all in pieces right now, but it's clearly been used, but um, you know, might be able to still sell it. If it works, maybe I'll use it. It can be my warehouse vacuum. All right. Alrighty, let's see what else is in here. Big Boss Oilless Fryer. It's kind of like a clear air fryer. Okay, that's what it looks like. Big Boss Oilless Fryer. Let me turn it around. Here's the front picture. It kind of looks like an air fryer, but different than the plastic ones that I've seen. See what kind of condition we got going on. It looks almost new. It does look new. I don't think it's been used. Yeah, it looks brand new. So oil is fryer. That's a good one. And the box condition's phenomenal on that one. Oh my goodness, it's heavy. We'll plug it in and check it out. Yeah, well, I'll plug it in and check it out before I sell anything. Um, here is a kitchen set. Looks like it comes with all the food. Uh, let's see what kind of condition the handle broke off. Yay. Looks like it just snaps right back on though. So let me get this open. Little piece of tape there. A little stove. I don't know where the base of it is. Is it just supposed to sit on the ground or is it like portable? Oh, here's the rest of it to make it all stand up and such. So it's like a little portable kind of toy. All right. I don't know that that's worth $12, but. Maybe not. <laughs> no, it's definitely not worth $12. Oops. So anyway, well, it said scratch and dent. I was just making sure it was in the proper condition. Oops. All right, digital air fryer. I was actually hoping to get one of these for Christmas and I didn't. So with my meal plan, it's easy to make food in these air fryers. So we'll see what kind of condition this is in. If it's in good condition, not been used, I might just keep it myself. All right, let's see what it looks like. It looks brand new, but let's see. Let's not drop this one, huh? Yeah, that's brand new. It's never been used. Clearly you can tell. So that one is brand new. 
All right, a couple more things in the box. It's gonna take me a while to rebox everything. All right, what's this thing? Here's another shark robot. And clearly scratched and dent, I would say, the condition of this box probably is what put this one in here. Because it's very, very beat up. So let's see what the actual shark looks like. Shark Ion Robot. It definitely looks used because it's got some wear here on the top. Uh, hair on the brushes. And so I'd say that's definitely been used. But even used, these guys are selling for pretty good money. So my goal is to plug them all in, make sure they work, because the sharks, I think, are selling for around $250 a piece, brand new. And so even if I can get, like, you know, $150 or whatever out of them used in good working condition, that's, I mean, I'll easily make up my money on that kind of stuff. So one more thing in the box. Let's see. It's humong humongous. Okay, it's a ProLift creeper seat. Not for someone who's creepy, but for mechanics. Um, if you look, you can sit on it, raise it up and make it like a stool or lay flat and roll underneath a car. So basically for like, uh, it's a shop seat for mechanics. Um, so this would come in handy around here sometimes. But um, anyway, it's a ProLift creeper seat. Um, looks like the box has been opened. Shall we open it and see what it looks like? You know what? I will open this one on my next video, so you have to watch my part two. So uh, we'll see what kind of condition that's in, because I think that's gonna be a good deal. That looks really expensive. And so what I'm gonna do is add up all this stuff and kind of give you a ballpark based on condition, what I think I can sell a lot of this stuff for in my second video. And I'll open up that ProLift Creeper seat and uh, show you the condition of it, just so you get an idea, um, is it even worth it to buy? So this is what you get from a scratch and dent palette. If you look, it's totally empty. Um, and so I have a feeling I'm going to be making a drone lot on my eBay site and, um, you know, and then be selling a lot of the pet beds and stuff. They're not in original packaging, but you know, I think I can make 432, especially if I can get one of these sharks or iRobots to work, for sure I'll make all my money back on that. But this will give you an idea of what's in a bulk.com scratched and dent palette, 34 items, uh, and it gives you an idea of what's in there. And as long as you don't break the stuff like I do, you'll make some money on it. And remember, in the end, Jesus wins. If you love the content that I give, you can support me on Patreon. Just follow the link in the description below and I will offer you lots of exclusive things. You can be in the Hooked on Pickin' Coffee Club, have your Naven lights, be in the Hooked on Pickin' Reseller Club, or the Reseller Pro Club. You get different perks for each club. So if you'd like to support me in my channel, please head on over to my Patreon account and start supporting. Thanks. This is Heather from HookedOnPickin.com. If you'd like to purchase my reseller guide, which is fully laminated three cards with checklists for Goodwill, eBay, and Amazon, please click the link below and you can purchase it now. The Goodwill card has over 80 different tips to show you how to walk through the store and what things I look for when walking through a thrift store to buy and resell items on Amazon, eBay, and other platforms. The Amazon reseller checklist has over six major steps and a lot of sub steps to look at in order to find out, is my item going to be perfect for selling and reselling on Amazon? The eBay card also has six major steps to walk through to make sure you're choosing the right item that will be perfect for reselling and making money on eBay. Each card is fully laminated so that it cannot be destroyed easily, and it's perfect for taking with you while you're going on your picking and finding treasure hunting for reselling. I hope this is helpful, and I hope these cards help you to focus your energy to pick the right items to resell online to grow your reseller business. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.